you know what? Bank fishing can be a pain. Why? Well, all your line goes in the water. If you're fishing with floating lines, that's all right, except when the wind takes it out there. Fishing with sinking lines, when you're going to recast all the line that's sunk down the bottom of the reservoir, you're trying to fight it, pull it out there, and trying to cast it out at the same time. So, last year, joined up with Fastnet. We've done a net, which is obviously a net, but it locks as well like this to be a line tray. So when I'm bank fishing now, I can just put that line in there when I'm ready to recast all the lines outside of the water. But let me show you the other feature. If I'm gonna wade a bit deeper, good spike at the end, but if I unlock that, just twist it, it locks in any position I want. So if I wanna wade really, really deep, I can have go down there and it'll still have the bank net next to me. And then, the business end of it, if you hook a fish, it just flips over so you can land the fish, simple and easy, and then back to your net position there at that angle, pull it in there, and there's your line tray. Absolutely brilliant. Get them direct from Fastnet up in Scotland, made in the UK, and there's your line tray. So no need to have a line tray around your belly. The problem with those, they're very restrictive because your retrieve is very short. Here, I can have it next to me, quite nice, long strips, but all the line stays in there, more importantly, stays out of the water. So when you go and recast, if this was all in the water, let's pull this out. If all that line was in there now, what would tend to happen when you're shooting it, it would come up, as you can see, it's come up in a tangle like that. The problem with that is you're not going to get maximum distance. Whereas, just putting this mesh through that O-ring keeps it up like that, then enables you to put your line in there. What happens is all your line shoots out, up the rings, and out onto the water.